Enola Badmos TV Entertainment without bow. Hey there, welcome to Trending on Enola Badmos TV. On Trending today, Lagos Court Jail Pastor Genesis Israel Ogundipe for two years following fraud. Details in the bed. Back on. If there's nothing we want to do again, if this is the only thing we're going to do today in the church, let a member of the church go home with what you have blessed me with. She was only thinking of the little coin that would take her home, but nothing in her account. Anikeja I Court has sentenced the popular televangelist and head of Genesis Parish of the Celestial Church of Christ, Alagba do Lagos, Israel Ugundipe, to two years' imprisonment for unlawfully converting a woman's property and stealing. He fraudulently obtained 14 million naira and 12,000 pounds in several tranches from the complainant. Ogundikwe, who has been on trial since 2011, was charged with seven counts of obtaining and stealing, inducing delivery of money by false pretenses, as well as unlawful conversion of property and fraudery. Justice Olabisi Akinlade found Ogundipe guilty of two of the seven counts charged and sentenced him to one year imprisonment on each of the counts. He would, however, spend one year in prison as the sentence will run concurrently. Justice Akinlade ordered the convict to make restitution of 11 million naira to the complainant, a London based architect, Mrs. Oladele Williams Oni, on count two and four. The lead prosecuting counsel, Mrs. Rotimio Dutola, thanked the court for a well considered judgment. According to the prosecution, Ogundipe committed the crime between 30th August 2002 and 2005. The convict was also said to have between August 30th, 2002 and December 2003 at number 32 Belo Street, Ladipo Estate, Chogunle, Lagos, allegedly collected 2.9 million naira from Williams Oni to purchase an uncompleted building for her but fraudulently converted the money to his own use. The prosecution also said that between March and December 2003 at Comit Bureau de Change, Broad Street, Lagos, the convict allegedly stole 12,000 British pounds from the complainant which was meant for the purchase of four plots of land for building a mosque. He was also said to have stolen 8.5 million naira between October 2002 and March 2003 from William Zoni for the purchase of landed properties in Lagos. The convict was also said to have forged a Nigerian international passport which carried his photo in the name of Shonyaolu Babatunde Solomon at the passport office at Oba Kinjabi Street, Ikeja, Lagos. The offences contravene Section 390, Subsection 9, Section 419, and Section 467, Subsection 1B of the Criminal Code Law of Lagos State 2003. This sentence has come as a shock to a lot of people, considering that the tele evangelists have had such strong grounds among several church members who are seen to adore him in his ways, his sermon, and other things that he does. Back on. If there's nothing we want to do again, if this is the only thing we're going to do today in the church, let a member of the church go home with what you have blessed me with. She was only thinking of the little coin that would take her home, but nothing in her account, nothing with her. She doesn't have anything. God just told me that right now. And God says, when they were blessing, as they were blessing you, tell her to pack all the seed. I don't know how it's going to be, but trust me, my coming to the ministry is to be a blessing to all my members. Some people are just coming again to bless us. Well, guys, let us know what you think about this story in the comment section. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyo Labad Most TV. Enyo Labad Most TV. Entertainment with